And we're recording. What's up, YouTube? This is episode number 27. Seven. Yeah. All right. Uh, so your brother, his friend that he works with, said to get this Houston Hayes IPA. So here we are. Man, we probably should have left these in the fridge before we had our brainstorm session. But we didn't. Well, that's, I mean, it's still pretty cold. It was cold when I bought it and I put it in the fridge. Oh, it's foaming up. Oh, man, the head tastes terrible. The foam? It's a little warm, isn't it? Yeah, it's not. Well, we're still going to drink them. Yeah, have to. Yeah, we already opened them. <laughs> Man, that's rough. Oh. Is there a story on the beer can somewhere? 7%, not that strong. Spindle Tap Brewery, Houston, Texas. That's just a government warning if you're pregnant. We're trying to drive a car. <laughs> it's not bad, but maybe it needs to be colder. Should I put the other ones on the fridge? No, nah, it's fine, man. Let's fucking just go through it. Let's just go through Yeah, let's do it. All right, so topics 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 because normally we don't but look look piece of paper topics that Vince probably can't read right now right over your insurance <laughs> no uh my registration i got my registration sticker today it was out what's today the 16th it's been out for 17 days or whatever so when i got that so i'll get pulled over but the week before i put the tail lights in the truck all right first off we're talking about nba finals Tonight, when we're recording, is today Thursday? Mm-hmm. So, game six is tonight. Predictions? I'm, uh, I'm I, open, but I think Celtics tied up. I say game I say seven. Boston wins tonight. Yeah. I say Tatum has, like, a stellar game and puts up, like, 35 points. And the supporting cast helps them out, and they win this game. Hopefully Derek White does something. Yeah. He had a rough game the other night. I watched it. I was at Hooters, yeah. and it was just – I mean, there was there was spots in the game, and then there was some there was some bullshit calls. I heard about those. There was some bullshit calls. Man. I haven't seen one game in the finals. Though. What's that dude named Pool? Yeah, for the Golden State, the point guard. Man, he flopped so hard, he didn't get hit. They had so many angles on Instagram, on YouTube, like it wasn't even close. And he just throws his hands up and throws his head back, and I was like, man. Uh, my boy that works in the rabbit hole, he was like, he kept posting it. Like, he posted it two or three times. It's like, the NBA is rigged. <laughs> and it looked like it was rigged. Like, like one of the referees may uh, have some gambling debt, like that uh, 2007 series. Was it 06 or 07 with the Mavericks and the Heat? Was it that? 06. Oh, no, the ref. The ref yeah, had I gambling debt. That. And there was a lot of bullshit calls in that series. But. I digress. I digress. I'm still pulling for Boston to run the next this game tonight and the next game and take the title. Yeah. Somebody, oh man, man, but like that's what pisses me off. Like Andrew Wiggins was the number one pick. Oh, Cleveland. Yeah. No. Yeah, he, he went Cleveland? to Cleveland. I think yeah, he went to Cleveland, but no, he but he went to Cleveland. And then they traded him. Yeah, it was the Timberwolves. They traded while. him to the Timberwolves so they could get Kevin Love and somebody else in Cleveland. But he was a number one pick. And it's like, I mean, you're talking about a number I'm one pick. I that's when uh, LeBron came back. Or wait. Yeah, LeBron went back to Cleveland. Yeah, when he went back to Cleveland. And he said he was excited to play with two or three guys, but he didn't mention Wiggins. Yeah. Because part of LeBron going back to Cleveland was they were going to send Wiggins out and bring Kevin Love over. And did they have Kyrie that first year? Yeah, they were there. So they were all there together? Yeah. So he went from having... The trifecta down there with Chris Bosh, D Wade, and him going back to Cleveland with Kyrie, yep. him, and Kevin Love. I, I mean, yeah, of course they were going to win a championship. Of course, that's why he won championships in Miami. But I don't know. I, I feel like, like I don't, I don't. It's not that I don't care for the Warriors. I'm just, I just want other guys to be able to get rings. Yeah. And with the Warriors, I feel like it's so. Mark Jackson built a team, 
and everybody's like, well, you couldn't coach him. Dude, he, he was there in the playoffs, and they went second round. And, yeah, okay, they lo and then next year Steve Kerr shows up, and then they go to the finals. But it's like, was that really Steve Kerr, or was that just the team yeah, learning to play with each other? And That goes back when uh, Chan Gailey won the Super Bowl. Was it Chan Gailey? Then I didn't play last Super Bowl. Did Remember, Chan Gailey win? Jimmy Johnson left, and then... No, he's he talking about Barry Switzer. Yeah, Barry, Barry Switzer, Switzer took over. But yeah. Chan Gailey was a uh, coach. I yeah. Think. I don't know when, but... After Barry Switzer, he was that Christian dude. He loved Jesus, and we're gonna get a Super Bowl. Never got one. Not, not, not knocking on Jesus. Just saying, Chan Gailey wasn't the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Barry Switzer did it because, yeah, Jimmy Johnson got yeah, he two. He got back to back. Oh yeah, three. And, well, he won and then lost. I thought he had back to back. Yeah, then he won. I think won two, two, or or he and, won three Super Bowls, right? Yeah, they won three. Was it? Stallbacks got two. I know they beat one back to back with the Bills. I know that. No, no, he's only got two. Because Roger Staubach's got oh, two Super Bowls. Yeah, Troy Aikman's right. got three, yeah, so that puts right. you at five. So he only got two. So he only got Barry two. Got three, and that's so that's what happened. So Jimmy Johnson was back to back. Yeah. And then when Jimmy was gone, when Jerry couldn't handle his ego, well, J Jerry's ego got in the way. Then he got rid of Jimmy, and then Barry Switzer came on. And it took Barry Switzer a little bit of time to figure out the offense and how they worked right. So he had they had that one off year, and then they won the Super Bowl the next year. That was back in 1996. Like 96, 97, right? Yeah. 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 We're coming up on 25 years <laughs> of the Cowboys Super Bowl is. I'm okay. Hold on. They haven't even made it to the Super Bowl. Like second round playoffs, right? I mean, yeah. And sit and 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 out. Yeah. Uh, we went from the finals to talking shit about the Cowboys. Yeah, no, Fantastic. Right. All right. So Vincent doesn't watch it, but I did finish the Peaky Blinders. It was the last episode ever, is what they're saying. But good God, I hope they come back and make more because they left it open. That's all I'm gonna say. And this is on Netflix? It's on Netflix. Go watch the Peaky Blinders. It was mm, it was so good. I was like the last episode, I was like, how are they gonna finish this fucking story out in fucking an hour? And they extended it, it was an hour and a half episode. So go watch the Peaky Blinders. Oh the beer. Okay. So maybe we should have drank it colder. Maybe we should have left it in the fridge before we came out here in the truck and pregame. Where'd you happen at? I thought you had it in the fridge. It was in the garage fridge, but then we came out here and then we were talking oh, shit right. and then we decided what we were going to talk about. And then we we're talking about my crazy ass dreams. Then, you know, then it got and then, hot. Yeah, then it got hot. And then we were debating on if it's ever worth uh, door dashing and Uber eating again. Yeah. Currently, not so much. Gas price too high. Let's go, Brandon. That's crazy, dude. When you see that Instagram videos and they have that Donald Trump speech, he's like, "What a gas price is two dollars and something cents a, uh, a gallon oh, now." Talking about tax cut thing. Yeah, he goes, yeah. "That's like a tax cut." He goes, "No, that's better than a tax cut." And I was like, "Man, lying, bro. We're over here paying. For, I pay four seventy nine for regular unleaded today. I put forty bucks and my truck hit half a tank." In my head, that tells me it'd be because you know the top end of your tank is always yeah. there's also always extra. So I'm looking at $120 to fill my truck up. I hate the gauges on this truck. It's like Aaron's truck too. It just means it's, it's so small, and it seems like <laughs> I just yeah. I don't ever pay attention to the gauges. My eyes are always on the road. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay, so if you haven't watched Speaking Blinders and also, hey, what's your friend's name? Louis nu Louis no, Nunez? Eric. No, Who? no, your brother's friend, the dude that told us to get this beer. He works with your brother. Lou, it oh, says, Louis, yeah. Yeah, Lou, Lou Dang. That's what it says on Lou his Dang. Instagram. Man. But Louis Nunez. Oh, so he's the one that sent it. This, or... I mean, this isn't a bad beer, but we fucked up because it's not as cold as it should be. Don't give us not, diarrhea. <laughs> no nah, man, I'll take my Metamucil after this. <laughs> Are you done? 
Yeah, I'm about to be. All right, let's go. Mm. Oh, all right. Talked about that. Talked about that. What's the next topic? Oh, Lou Palooza. Lou Palooza is Saturday, June eighteenth. This podcast will go up before the show happens. Me and my oldest son Troy will be there. Uh, Lou Charles is a rapper from Fort Worth, and like, hopefully, this dude is. I I, I hope and wish and pray and will put him out there. And I hope this dude is the dude from Fort Worth that makes it. I want him to be the guy that makes it because his music is spectacular. He's got the vibe, he's got the chill. I met him at the Gucci Mane concert and he's just, that's my guy. If you're a rapper from Fort Worth, like he's my guy. Uh, the other dude, Brewed Up Joe, uh, he's got a show on Saturday, the same day, early in the day at Brutal Beer Works in North Ocean Hills. And I got on my kids that day, so I can't make that one. But brewed up Joe, if you if you look at my Instagram, every time I post videos about beer, I use his song "Brewed Up," and it's my jam. And he's a really cool fucking dude. So I'll be at Lou Charles, and brewed up Joe will be there too. He already told me. So just that's just putting local Fort Worth artists on the map. That's that's what I rep. That's where I'm from. So. Just, I, I just I just want people to know. Oh man, why does it foam up like that? I, I just blew it. it went everywhere. <laughs> My legs all wet. Yeah. Next topic. Father's Day. Father's Day. Any fathers that watch this, happy Father's Day, guys. Grab a beer, tell someone to make you a steak or make it yourself, and enjoy. You're doing a good job. I don't give a shit what anybody else tells you. What are, what, are you, what are your Father's Day plans? I don't know yet. Hopefully they surprise me with money. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find these tattoos, homeboy? I don't know, man. They have asked me what I want, but I was like, okay, bro. I'm not big on these holidays. Like, hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I feel like you and me are on the same level on that. When we want something, we just go buy that shit. Yeah. <laughs> like we don't like we don't, uh, wait on, we don't wait on nobody. I need a new hat. Like what do you want your hat to say? Yeah. Don't know. I just need a new hat. Yep. And I ain't gonna lie, because honestly, like because we talked about it before, I'll pop into Ross and just oh, go yeah, through the hats. hats. Yeah. I'll just go through the hats. If there's a hat, I'm a Oakland A's guy. I see those. Vincent's a, lot, a, dude. a Boston Red Sox guy. And like those are just the teams in baseball that we follow, so randomly just pop it in like i just go through the hats like is there any hat i want no 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 then i look through the shoes i go through um, my size in the t-shirts in the athletic section and or maybe pop into the clearance section to see if there's yeah. some shorts or workout shorts or something and then i'm out oh yeah, yeah like this hat i found this one Ross. no 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 never mind it was a different one no no i bought this at the mall <laughs> but sometimes they have hats just like this dude yeah, no, yeah. they do. Like, I ain't gonna lie, Troy, Troy's been looking for a Nike one because he's got an Adidas dad hat yeah. that he wears, but he only wears it with his Crocs. But he only has, he don't have no Adidas. He only has Jordans and Nikes. So he's been looking for a white Nike check hat. And I'm like, oh, okay. Try them all? We went to Grapevine Mills, but he hit the Nike store and he wanted a hoodie. He didn't want a hat. So I was like, it's fucking hot. I, I told him, it's 108 degrees in Texas. I ain't buying you a hoodie right well, now, Well, I guess it'll, it'll last him. It's like he ain't gonna get away anyways. I know, but he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna grow tall. Well, tall, yeah. He's gonna but short he on be... him. So it's I just weird. told him, I was like, bro, I'm not buying you that hoodie right now. It's it's 110 degrees outside. We went to that Stranger Things pop-up yeah. out there, great by Mills. But he saw a hat, and then he didn't really care about it. So I was like, mm -mm, I'm not buying the hat that yeah. he didn't care about it that much. Yep. You wanted the hoodie. Well, I can wear the hoodie next year at school. It's like, oh boy, we in school, we in school shopping right now. <laughs> we chilling. But yeah, but but I I do feel like we're on that same mindset when we'll pop into a Ross just to see. And they got any see. hats? Just to see, like they don't have no hats and they don't have no shoes. I really like. I'm out. Yeah. And I I only go to Marshalls for shoes. I don't go to Marshalls for hats. 
because they always got like they always got like Dallas Star stuff and like uh, University of Texas. Maybe have some OU stuff, but they really don't have anything that I'm like. It's it's always like sports brand that that brand. What is it? Forty seven or whatever. Yeah. They have a lot of that, and I'm, I'm just not. not this is not my thing. Yeah. All right, but, but so if this beer was colder, would you think we would like it more? It's not bad. Maybe, but like I don't I don't feel like it's bad. It's a cool concept with purple purple drink Houston Houston haze. Like I'm not mad at it. I just feel like it should it should have been colder when we started drinking it. Should put it in the freezer instead of the fridge. Oh. I mean, it's all right. I feel like there's a dank taste at the end, like a little bit of an aftertaste. And it fuzzes too much. Yeah, when you yeah. Oh. I mean, there's nothing wrong. With it. There's nothing wrong with. It. I mean, if you pour it into a glass, we wouldn't even fucking know. But light don't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Water doesn't do that at all. Water never fuzzes. No fizz, no head, no nothing. But I don't know. Like honestly, dude, like our <laughs> our bank account and our hat taste of going looking at Ross and our love for Voodoo Rangers. I don't know. Man. Like I, I feel like it's a, a complete match. Like I've never met anyone else that's like, oh, you drink your Voodoo Ranger. Like I've never met anybody else that's like, oh, that's good beer. Because like worst case scenario. No matter where I'm at, if there's a Voodoo Ranger on tap, oh yeah, just give me the Voodoo Ranger. I did that the other day. I went bowling with my boy Chris. And, yeah, that's uh, what got the movie Sunday. They had Voodoo Ranger at the. Which one? The one by Ava School. No, which? Uh, by I the, don't care about which movie theater. Which beer? <laughs> I'm not sure, man. It was just. Uh, I don't think the it was regular like, one. Yeah, I think it, it was, was probably the, or the white can. They always have the regular or the white can. Yeah. So when we went to Wild Pitch the other day and we ate lunch after we shot the podcast. What was that Saturday? Yeah. So we were there. We went up there. We had the Juicy Haze. And that's the white can. Yeah. And then I went. So I bowled with Chris. We bowled like one or two games. In the same day? No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, that was on Tuesday. How the fuck you do that? On Tuesday. So, and then he was like, let's go grab a beer. And I was like, okay, but we were at main event. Yeah. So I thought we were going to go to the bar and main event. And he was like, oh, no, fuck that. We're going to Wall Pitch. <laughs> so we went to Wall Pitch. And I told Faith, I was like, uh, give me the Voodoo Ranger. And then she put it in the tulip glass. And I was like, Faith, um, I don't, I, I wanted a, I, I feel like I wanted a tall one. She's like, I can't serve you a tall one. I was like, why? It's just Voodoo Ranger Juicy Haze. She's like, no, it's the, it's the uh, what is the, the Crusher one? The 9%, 9.7% oh, one. Wow. The one that we had on the podcast that one time. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I was drinking that, and then I was like, I'm they got that. They had it on tap, and I was like, okay. I mean, and they had it in the glass. I put it on Instagram. It was in a Lakewood glass on my Instagram. So I drank that, and then I was like, uh, your, but boy, it seems like it your boy's got to drive home. Well, not with me there. I'll finish the well, can. with you, but I don't get that shit. You know, they get the regular. No, for sure. They get like the, but that's the one they're pushing well, not, right I'm now. Not regular Voodoo. voodoo what? Just, Damn. Just Voodoo Ranger IPA. Yeah. But, but I'm saying, like, not a lot of people. It's not a... Yeah, Voodoo Ranger, like, in general. Like, New Belgium it makes Voodoo Ranger. But Voodoo Ranger is, like, their line of, like, IPAs. Like, their heavy, hardcore line. And, like, I ain't gonna lie. I got 1985 in the ice chest right now. Yeah. No. Yeah, I got one in the ice chest right now, 1985. And then I got the white can, the Juicy Haze in the fridge in the garage. And... I just popped into a different liquor store I never go to, and that's that's what they had. So I bought the white can stuff yesterday while I was watching the Peaky Blinders. But yeah, I, I was, feel like I, telling, I feel I like telling a, a coworker or ex coworker at 36th Street last Friday about when we were just talking. I was asking what kind of beer he liked. He's, he's, he's Budweiser, or whatever. And I said, "You ever tried the you know Blue Ranger?" He's like, "No, nah, man." He's like, "Man, I thought that was Faggot's beer." <laughs> I'm like, what? Drink, the hell? You I'm drink three that. of them. Yeah, it's like, it's stronger than that shit you drink, dude. Well, that my boy Chris and uh, his buddy Chad, his roommate, when we were there, they were like, why did they give you such a small glass? I was just 9.7%. And then Faith got the thing. She's like, yeah, that Voodoo Ranger is 9.7%. She's like, how did you know that? I was like, I love this beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't understand. And, like, a lot of people, like, regular shit. yeah, they stick with something that, like, 
Middle Light, Budweiser. Like Middle Light, Budweiser, Bud Light, Coors Light, Coors Banquet, uh, Miller Genuine Draft, if you can find it. Uh, any of those beers always range about 4.2. So if you drink one Budweiser and versus one Voodoo Ranger, like if you drink a Voodoo Ranger or any IPA, like this is 7%. So this is like a beer and a half in the one beer. So it's like that Hank Hill meme that's on Instagram. Why do y'all keep making light beers? You're just making it harder for us to get drunk. And it's the truth. Like you make these light beers so people can drink more for a longer amount of time. But at the bar, when you buy a Budweiser, a Bud Light, Coors Light, those beers are usually three or four dollars, five dollars maybe. But if you get something stronger that's an IPA, you're sit, you're looking at like six or seven bucks. Like, oh, that's too expensive. Hey, drink one and tell me the difference. Yeah. Drink drink one IPA on an empty stomach, and I guarantee you feel drunker than you did with that oh, Coors yeah. Light. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. okay, we talked about beer. We talked about Father's Day. Oh, your new job. Let's talk about your new job. Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? You, I mean, what well, you said. You yeah. said what you did on the, our group text, but let the listeners know. Right. So I started a new job. It's called Austin Nation. That's actually a real guy's name. Austin Company. Austin. O S L I N Nation. Okay. That's how it's spelled. I thought it was just a company name, but it's actually a real person. Okay. But he, I, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Is his last name or his first name? Austin. Austin. Austin is first name and Nation is last name. Nation is not his last name. Bro. I don't know. That's what they That's told me. That's bullshit. Dude. That's what they told me. Uh, we're Googling this shit after. I don't give a damn. They pay me and I believe them. Uh, you know what? They're paying you. Fuck it. I believe them too. <laughs> but now nah, it's been chill. I started Tuesday. It's 10 hour shifts. Tuesday to Friday. So tomorrow, 10 hours, and I'm off Monday. Which It's badass, bro. Yeah. Well, Just wait till Super, Super Bowl Sunday comes. You'll be like, I ain't gotta be nowhere tomorrow, guys. Real, yeah, everybody's right. gotta go to work. Like, oh. yeah. I mean, it's good. It's good company. Well, homeboy got me in, or he got me to interview, whatever. But what homeboy? David. Oh, yeah. But yeah, does he know, work I, there? I think it's Houston Hayes hitting me, man. Shit. Well, <laughs> he ain't telling me <laughs> that shit, bro. Maybe it's because it's warm, or maybe because uh, it's just good. But I ain't mad at it. Houston Hayes spindle tap. We hit you. I hit you on Instagram with the tag. Got his thermal word with the in the stories, and then I'm gonna hit y'all up again when I post it. Well, not when I post this to YouTube, but we will put the name of the beer on YouTube. But when I repost it on Instagram with the link to the podcast. But anyways, job's good, and I'm looking forward to it. I'll tell you more about it. I mean, it's only my first week, so. Have you been doing a lot of training? It was just the first few days, man, but the, all the people, they're nice as fuck, dude. They're cool as hell, cool, too, man. man. You find you a lady that will come bring you lunch? Like at your other shop? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, we're feeling it. <laughs> yeah. You know wrong with that. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, 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 oh. So this, this is where we get to the part. We heard about Vince's job. And I talked about Peaky Blinders, which is just a me thing, and Lou Palooza was just a me thing. But this is where we get into the show that Vincent's watching right now. Oh, yeah, it's going to bring up... I'm pretty sure a lot of people watched it, but it's an old show. I think it came out in 2014, 2013. I can't remember. You got to look it up. But it's called um, True Detective. But the, to me, I think it's only three seasons. Dang. Yeah. But the first season, I haven't seen the second season. I just can't get into it. But the third season is good, too. It has a guy that's going to play the new Blade. That black dude... Um, Bro, what what the fuck just happened? What? I didn't even know they were making a new Blade. When did you find this out? No, um, you saw the... Uh, that Marvel with the... I forgot damn name, dude. I'll tell you later. But anyways, yeah, they're supposed to be making Blade. I don't know if he's going to be a Blade movie or he's going to be in the Marvel Hold on, thing. hold on. So this was in a movie. They had yeah. the, the concept of Blade in the movie. It's one of those, you know, the you know, the, after the previews and shit like that. Doc, well, it had to be Doctor Strange. No, it wasn't Doctor Strange. It was the, Spider Man. No, it was the, the Eternals. Uh, Eternals, yeah. Because uh, what's the name of? Bro, you just spoiled my life. Oh, you haven't seen it? 
I started watching it, but that shit was like, boring as fuck. It, was <laughs> it, looked alive, bro. Yeah. it looked boring. It looked like yeah, they're they're super beings. Fuck this shit. I don't yeah, where well, they um, they didn't help the fucking Avengers fight Thanos. <laughs> really? Yeah, have you seen it? <laughs> Did, didn't know. Yeah. But what was their reasoning? I, I'm not gonna watch the fucking movie. I don't know, man. It's just it's this whole crazy world. It's like the next movie I watched that Angelina Jolie is in is the next Tomb Raider that she makes. Oh, she looked good in that movie too, man. I'm so, that just, they yeah, already have a new Tomb Raider. Oh, they're making another one. No, they're not. It's the bigger so one. So what I'm telling you is, I'm never gonna fucking watch another one of her movies. Why you don't like her? No. Yeah, oh, that The last movie oh, I she remember. Looks sick and skinny, man. I still love her. <laughs> I still love her. The last movie I watched that she was in was uh yeah, it's been out. It's Wanted. Been Wanted with a guy that were like curving the bullets and shit. Oh man. That's the last movie I saw that she was in. I watched like 17 minutes of the Eternals. Yeah. It's it's that it. it's okay, man. They're like, they're just, it's like a bigger person. I don't know, it just, it's kind of confusing too, dude. It's like, like, what the hell? Like, what's Marvel doing? I don't know what, I don't know what they're. They killed Tony Stark, so they're fucked completely. Yeah, but they got this whole shit. This you know multiverse I mean? they're trying yeah. to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just, just planning. You, you watch Doctor Strange, right? Yeah. Don't tell me about it because I'm gonna watch it. But was it good? Yeah, it's good. The guy that directed it, he directed scary movies. But it did it did mimic some of the shit that we saw in What If though, right? What if uh remake? Did you uh, no yeah, yeah. No no it don't. It does it? No. But um But the third did you watch I? the Wanda. Yeah, I yeah, watched okay, the Wanda. Okay. Yeah. As long as you watch that, you're good. I still haven't seen Spider-Man, whatever the fuck the last one was, with all the assholes in it. Yeah, it was good. But they're just all over the fucking place, dude. Bro, okay, best Spider-Man ever. It has to be the first one. Tobey Maguire? Yeah. Mm. I don't. Know, I grew up on it, dude. No, I mean you grew up on it. I grew up, I, but I remember watching Spider-Man on uh, Channel Twenty Seven. The car seven. Yeah, the cartoon. Oh, I was just talking about like the movies. But like when you watch the cartoon, like I've always felt like no disrespect to Tom Holland because he is a good Spider Man. But I always felt like when the Andrew Garfield Spider Man's came out, I was like especially that scene where that, that guy was breaking into cars or whatever and he was talking like mad shit while he was shooting him with webs and everything. I always felt like that was more closer to the that was closer, not more closer, because that didn't make any fucking sense. But I felt like that was closer to the cartoon Spider-Man, Peter Parker. Where, because cause I just feel in my head, Spider-Man and Peter Parker always had a fucking smart mouth. Yeah. Like, where he was talking like mad shit. And Tobey Maguire never did that for me. Like, I don't know, maybe his delivery, or he wasn't funny. But you know who would have been the best Spider-Man? Who actually tried to be Spider-Man? in the Tobey Maguire movies, James Franco. And I know, I know James Franco, sexual harassment and everything, but if you look at James Franco and then you look at the dude, uh, Andrew Garfield, they're the same guy, a little bit, but James Franco is more funny. And name one other movie Andrew Garfield's in that's not Spider-Man. Exactly. James Franco's been in a lot of shit, man. Yeah. Tobey Maguire, he was, I mean, he's he was a young. bad choice. Yeah. He's real good friends with, uh, uh what's his name? Uh, uh, everyone. Titanic guy. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. He's friends with Brad Pitt, too. Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt go way back, too. God damn it, Vincent. What the fuck is True Detective about? Oh, yeah, we saw talking about <laughs> What the... See, I mean, just... You have to watch it, man. I ain't trying to explain it. But it, but it like... It's just like a, a badass detective? My, my favorite one's the first season. 
Like I said, the second season, they got, I can't even remember the damn actor's name. What the first season? Who's in the first season? They got uh, we talked Matthew about McConaughey. It. And Matthew McConaughey. Got, and, uh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. And, uh, Texas boy right there. And a white man can't jump. What's his name? Uh, Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Okay. It's a whole story. I think it's like seven or eight episodes or some shit like that. If That's that, not bad. Maybe more. You can burn through that in a day. Yeah. Seven well, or eight episodes. I might be wrong. Maybe. I don't know. I think it's eight. But, man, it's fucking, it's pretty good. I try to get Kenan to watch it, but she, I don't understand. She, she can watch her other shit, but she can't watch that shit. It's like. She's supposed to watch Grey's Anatomy, man. She ain't even watching that no more. What's she watching now? Said it too damn loud. He gonna watch tonight. <laughs> Can I? <laughs> Grey's Anatomy. No. What's she watching though? She been watching. We watched this one show on. Uh, it's on HBO Max too. It's called The Other Woman or something like that. But well, I finished it. She don't know this, but <laughs> <laughs> she's not gonna get this deep in yeah. the podcast. We're. 30 minutes, yeah. 31 hey, minutes in. Pretty good. Remember we used to do fucking over an hour? Yeah, bro, I do. Yeah. Goddamn, we were drunk as shit when we were done. Yeah. But, hey, I'm not going to lie. These uh, Houston Hazes are not treating me amazing. Like, yeah. I'm feeling it. Like, I'm going to have to go eat something because I got to go watch the game somewhere. Fuck. Yeah. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done, too. We talked about all the topics. Yep. And uh, I got a tattoo day coming up, so new tattoos will start filling in the arm. Tuesday I go, and Vincent is gonna get the Market Kane tattoo. So, oh, that's the other thing I was gonna tell you. So my boy Chris, uh, his homie Austin, he's got the Market Kane, like massive, bro. And it's black. I mean, he outlined it in red. <clears throat> so we were bowling, and I was like. Hey, bro, that's a pretty cool tattoo. Have you seen mine? <laughs> because, I mean, that's what you do when you... Yeah. But that's the second dude. Like, baby mama, we went to a funeral down down in uh, La Mesa. And uh, someone had this tattoo. Well, I don't know if you can see it on camera. But it was Warrior International. It was an MMA brand. I don't think they even fucking exist anymore. But there was a dude down there that had a tattoo. And I shook his hand and I was like... And I turned his hand and I was like, oh, bro. That's a cool tattoo. Have you seen mine? <laughs> and then we had the same tattoo, but he just had snakes wrapped around the horns and going into the eyes. And I was like, oh, I wish I would have done that. <laughs> but whatever, man. Sometimes you get tattoos and then you just live with them because that's what you do. Yeah. All right, we done? Good. Signing off. <clears throat> next week. Uh, yeah, until next week. next Friday. Maybe. Next Friday, like maybe Saturday. I don't know. I don't know. This has got to go up today, though, because the game's on tonight. So no. later, guys. Y'all have fun. Cheers. Drink beers. All that jazz.